I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the 2024 National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions during the Charleston. The reason this is a good skill to build is first and foremost, if you ever play with people who maybe make quicker decisions than you do, or if you ever wanna play competitively or play online, you have to play within a certain time frame. So making quick decisions is really important. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just wanna build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We are going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five are going to be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're gonna alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14, and I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Pair south, pung five. I would do something with news and fives, the concealed hand. So we would need offsuit, no, we need like numbers. Like numbers, we have fives. Let's see, let's pass the dragon and then maybe the three. Flower, okay, well maybe we can do all wins. Okay, now here's a keep. Oh no, no, we need like numbers like numbers so let's do three four eight we need like numbers with fives we got a dragon a two let's see here let's do these three north that's a keeper so here let's do six three with a one okay one Four, nine. Flower. All right. I guess this hand had other ideas. No keepers. I would just pass C3. It's a little risky. Okay, lap. So we have four discards and two hands that we could potentially play. We have a gap for the news concealed hand with fives, no other five. It could come in, but we could also play maybe news with flowers. Four discards and we're in between hands in the same category, which is not bad. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done. Flower, west, five, six, eight, pairs, nine, three, four, seven, dot, four, crack. I would focus right here. Let that go, five, six. I think I would probably keep the fours, maybe even the seven for four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's see, let's give up a four. Dragon. Nine west, let's let a four go. Three, that's in the suit. It's too far though from these numbers. 
We're looking for big numbers. Eight. That's a big number. Here's another big number. Seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, eight, nine. Dragon, one. I think I would focus on bams. No keepers here. Let's see here. We'll pass those. There's a keeper and a filler tile. Nice. Eight. So we have two discards. Five, six, seven, eight. Pong, pong, kong, kong. Lap. That was a fantastic Charleston. Pong, pong, kong, kong. We need help here. Ready to act here. Three or four discards. I'd throw the flower first, probably. I suppose, oh look, wait. We could do pung or pear pear pung pung kong. Or we could even maybe do five or six, seven, eight flower. Maybe keep that. Two discards with options. If you would have done something differently, write sprint two and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. Flower, north, east, south, dragons, four crack, two dot pair, seven, eight, one, three, eight. So with these tiles, I'd start right here, two. With a two, we could maybe do year hand, like numbers. Here's a year tile, dragons for like numbers. Maybe one, two, three, four of some kind. That leaves us with like numbers, which I would not pass. So I would probably let that go. We could do two dot three bam four crack. East. Okay. We have tiles we can pass. Oh, wait, look, here's a one, two. I think I would let the dragons go. One, two. Let's pass these three. Eight, one. One, three, one, two, four, eight, nine. Oh, that's risky over there. Let's see. East, south, four, one, one. Okay, well, let's at least mitigate that risk a little bit here. Flower, okay. Here's a pung of east now. Oh my goodness. And two nines. Okay, I would focus on this number tiles, and I would not pass like numbers. So these three, these will probably go. Maybe we can keep the potential news. Two. Okay, let's pass, let's see, two. I'm still thinking year hand a little bit. There's a two. Tiles to pass. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Bumble fingers. Flower two. Okay, I would play like numbers. Let that go. That. Pass these. Oh, we got the east back. Lap. Okay. So we have an extra east, really, but I would probably use that as joker bait. Discard those, focus on like numbers with twos. If you would have done something differently here, write sprint three in the comment section below and tell me what you would have done with these tiles. Let's see how we did with time.
one way that you can make super quick decisions when playing Mahjong, especially during the Charleston, is to not pick a hand until you run out of discards. What that means is you're gonna look at your dealt tiles and look for the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand will either be multiples with supporting tiles for any given category, or the predominant pattern if you don't have multiples. Whatever category you can play that will use most of your tiles. Gather tiles for that category, and then when you have only keepers in your hand, that's when you look at the card to pick a hand. You really don't need to pick a hand until you've ran out of discards. Or after East discards their tile to start the game, then if someone discards a tile, of course, you might need to pick a hand. But during the Charleston, that doesn't need to happen. You can stay flexible and play at the category level for as long as possible. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.